twice. That's the number of times the number one seeded Iona College men's basketball team defeated the three seeded Manhattan Jaspers during the regular season. Hi, I'm Anthony Carlo here at the Times Union Center in Albany, where that number did not mean a thing when these two arch rivals met up again in the MAC championship. The Jaspers defeated the Gales 79 to 69, being crowned MAC champions for the second year in a row. The Manhattan Jaspers celebrated in triumph in the upset no one saw coming. Just everybody just being against us and not believing in us. And that's why we came up with 22 Strong, just the coaches to the staffs to the managers. That's, that's our circle right there that really believed in each other. So we, we felt like everybody was really against us. Head coach Steve Massiello credits his team's success to his players' selflessness. When I say I have great kids, you don't even understand how great these kids are. They're 19, 20 years old. They want no part of individual accolades, none. Rich Williams is coming to me saying, let keep Donovan in. Come on, that doesn't happen. It would take a well-devised plan to take down a team like Iona that just set a tournament record with 19 threes in one game. That plan did not come from Masiello. It game, came from senior guard Rashawn Stores. He told me he wanted to fan out not trap David, play single coverage, and let's see how they played it. Um, he's going to be a superstar in his coaching business. One of the top offensive teams in the nation were held to 22% shooting from behind the arc, going 5 for 22. Iona head coach Tim Clues said the shots just did not fall. You saw the same shots we got yesterday we got today. We just missed them. The Jaspers contained two of Iona's most dangerous scorers. A.J. English had 61 points through the first two tournament games and was held to 10. Isaiah Williams had 27 points in the semifinal and was held to just 7. Yeah, like you said, it's typical Manhattan defense. They were just playing. They played well, you know, they, they executed on defense and we just, we just missed shots. David Laurie paced the team with 24 points, 10 boards, and 5 assists. Manhattan junior Ashton Panky won the tournament MVP award, amassing a double-double with 21 points and 10 rebounds. He has high hopes for the big dance, maybe a little too high for his coach. Do not just go in there, just experience it and lose first round. We want to win Sweet 16, Final Four, that's what we're about. <laughs> Senior forward Emmy Anduhar added 18 points and 11 boards. Manhattan's press defense turned nine Gale giveaways into 18 points. <laughs> Manhattan players cried tears of joy. Iona players showed tears of defeat and looks of disbelief. Not fun for anyone here. We're obviously upset after a game like that because you want the championship and we've worked really hard for it all year. I'm proud of my guys for the effort they've put in from day one till now. They worked really, really hard. Unfortunately, sometimes it doesn't work out the way you want. What started out as an energetic Iona student section had the life sucked out of them as they watched arch rival Manhattan cut down the nets. With Manhattan's next opponent predicted to be a big one, Masiello reminded everyone of how the Jaspers play the game. There's no sizzle, there's no sexy about us. We're going to look you in your eye, we're going to come after you. That's who we are. When it was all said and done, Iona could not get things to go its way, and New York's biggest college basketball rivalry was full of tension, a display of the best, and one winner. Last year in the NCAA tournament, Manhattan gave Louisville a battle, and having punched their ticket again, they will wait to see who they'll be playing. Reporting from the MAC Championship in Albany, I'm Anthony Carlo.